And welcome back to the Week of Who Wins, Sunday edition, April Fool's edition, which we're not doing the April Fool's bit, I've already gone on about that. Um, and Timmy Television asked the question, who would win in a fight, Ghost Rider or the Headless Horseman? Now, it it's important to note what version of the Headless Horseman we're kind of talking about here. Now, generally speaking, when you're not going with, say, like, uh, the Sleepy Hollow TV series, one who wields, like, who's actually a horseman, the Horseman of Death from the Apocalypse, wielding actual machine guns and things along those lines, that most of the most of the horsemen incarnations are about the same. Or if you go with something like, um, oh god, what was it? Um, oh god, what was that one that were about the um, uh, at the Sci-Fi Channel one where it was like the fairy creatures and the main character was a succubus? I, I can't remember that one. Um, but um, where it was like a species that could detach your head, which would lose horribly in this fight. Generally speaking, the headless horseman is a a ghostly specter horse uh, with, that can take his head off. Usually pretty invincible in terms of basic, because uh, he's not technically alive. Pretty invulnerable to most forms of harm. I mean, he can take damage, but he'll quickly recover from it. Um, usually it's about, um, usually you have to like destroy the head or get, attach the head and then destroy it or something along those lines. Usually it's like a, magical basis to, for um, what binds him to the world. Uh, in the Sleepy Hollow universe, it's a little different. He's a horseman of death. He can heat his uh, weapon, like his blade weapons up and cut through nearly anything. Ghost Rider is the spirit of vengeance. He is, uh, he, I believe in some lore, like he was a, once an angel that was tricked and became a vengeful spirit. Uh, Jelly speaking, here comes Yon, hold on. <sighs> Generally speaking, he uh, if we're going by the Johnny Blaze edition, he uh, he's he turns into the rider in the presence of evil, which the, basically the um, the horseman would qualify as, um, turning into the flaming skeletal figure of the rider, who in terms of strength, uh, it's not um, it's not his strength limits are indeterminate though they are near god level uh or near god level very uh, kind of like 100 ton tier to degrees durability he can't really be hurt except by magical objects holy based objects things along those lines um and he has durability and regeneration on to, uh, to add to that uh hellfire creation and manipulation capable of manipulating weapons like the chains, the magical chains he has. Uh, of course, the pan stare, which affects if you have a soul or not. So, <clears throat> so the question quickly becomes, it, it, and there's more to it uh, than that, but that's the general gist. I've done Ghost Rider before, and I'm a little untired, so, so forgive me if I'm a little glib. This is not going to be a long episode. But, basically, um, hmm? ah, that's weird. Um, basically, Doctor Strange wants to try describe the writer when he's in when he's at full capacity as godlike in terms of his power. Uh, and let's be clear, let's be clear right now. Horseman is not depicted that uh, like that. Horseman is kind of just like a vengeful spirit kind of scenario, like a ghoul or a geist that just kills you. Uh, the writer is is like a, a, a vengeful deity to some degree. <clears throat> so, in a fight, I mean, let's say, uh, yeah, Johnny Blaze r drives through the town of Sleepy Hollow, and, uh, you know, the writer comes uh, it, it comes into uh, play here. So, uh, the writer is... Uh, the rider comes into play. The horseman comes into play. And they cross each other, and he blaze immediately turns into the rider. And, you know, you hear, ha, 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 the flat, headless horseman coming in with his machine guns and all that. And, uh, you know, he, he, you know, he's firing shots, and just, they're all bouncing off the rider. The rider quickly uses his chain, catches his, um, uh, catches the, uh, catches the horseman. And, you know, he pulls him off his horse. Horse immediately comes back, but Johnny sends his motorcycle out and kind of, uh, not collides, but um, catches the horse, basically. Basically intercepts the horse. <clears throat> so now it's the rider versus the horseman. The horseman, you know, pulls out his weapon, pulls out every weapon he has. Firearms aren't doing anything. Heats up his axe, 
does cut, I would say it would cut through uh, the horse uh, rider temporarily, and then the rider would just reform or reconnect his arm, and it just comes back to him. Rider just summons Hellfire and just melts his blades, and then just really either penance stares him or just incinerates him with Hellfire. Um, now, as, as a... As a horseman of the apocalypse version of the uh, hor uh, of the horseman, he'd be more difficult to defeat given the nature of being the a horseman of the apocalypse. Um, like Hellfire probably wouldn't have the same effect on him as like in the other forms of like and in the other forms of the headless horseman, Hellfire alone would probably just incinerate him soul and all. Um, but as a horseman of the apocalypse, it probably does not have the same effect on him. It still probably hurts, but it doesn't have the same effect on him. Really, it comes down to the pen and stare. Now, granted, he doesn't have a head, per se. Though, there are... He does have a spectral remnants of his head, which means he can see, basically. So, uh, it, it basically comes down to whether or not the pen and stare will have uh, an effect on him, as if whether or not he still has a soul. I imagine he does still have a soul. Given the descriptions I read about the Sleepy Hollow TV series version of the rider, where I keep telling him the rider, of the horseman... I think he does still have a soul, uh, so therefore the Panther does have an, would affect him. And even if it didn't, the Headless Horseman, as described on Sleepy Hollow, which is arguably one of the stronger versions of the Headless Horseman, is uh, he can't he's not hardly god tier. I mean, he's he's a tough cookie, but he's not god tier. Let, let's be clear about that. Anyway, um, so yeah, overall, I don't. I, here's the thing. Here's here's the here's really what uh, basically decides it for me is that the, the rider has ways of beating the horseman. The horseman, and no matter what version you kind of look at, doesn't have anything that's really capable of beating uh, Ghost Rider. He do, he doesn't have anything capable of beating Ro Ghost Rider. Uh, nothing nothing that would incapacitate him for more than a couple seconds. Nothing that could hurt him for more than a couple seconds. So I have to go with Ghost Rider in this fight. I go Ghost Rider, honestly, about 100% of the time. Uh, and that, but that's just my opinion. If you think different, that's cool. Put in the comments below. Let me know. That's fine. Uh, if you have ideas for who would win Star Wars, Superhero, Magic, What If, anything I do on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to it at some point. Uh, ideas for who would win. I just said that. What am I doing? Um... And I'll be back in a little bit with What If. So thanks for watching. This week will be a quiet place, so keep your eyes on for that. Hopefully the full Dominaria Spores actually start and we get updates on this particular sites. Because I know there's a bunch of cards that have been revealed I haven't gotten around to. Uh, and who one will be up until Wednesday. Uh, do I have anything else planned? Um, no, I don't have anything else planned besides the usual. No, I'll just start doing the power level up videos in a little while, in maybe a couple, a week or two. I just need a little prep time for those. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you folks.